I will have you know, you fucking piece of shit, that I playtest 40 hours a week playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't have a job, and I'm going to be the best fucking duelist that there ever goddamn was. You'll know the name Robbie fucking Cole before this segment is over. And if you don't, well, then you don't fucking deserve to be called a duelist. Duelist. So that was your obligatory introduction. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I just wanted to make fun of the people that constantly sit here, you know, justifying endless amounts of playtesting time. And just being like, you know, I play test 70 hours a week, blah, 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 blah. You know, I'm a better player than you are. You know? Unfortunately, that is not a very good mentality. It's like the old Yu-Gi-Oh! player argument that was like, Well, you know, I I've tapped a shonen jump in a regional, and your opinion doesn't fucking matter. What have you tapped? You know? We still have many snail mentalities in this community, and it's... You guys know what I mean. It's uh, very problematic as you know we've come along, but... This is a video discussing playtesting time. Now, how much time a week do you allot to playing the children's trading card games that you have all come to know and love? Well, to be honest with you guys, I don't really get the chance to playtest all that much. So, on average, a week, I play more Vanguard than I fucking do Yu-Gi-Oh! And I barely play Vanguard. Um, on an average week for Vanguard, uh, depending on if Keegan comes over or not, um, and my other friends are over on Sunday nights, or if we're getting together on Sunday nights, uh, we might, I might get two to four hours on a Sunday, and then maybe two to four hours at a street point, and then the locals will play, like, four rounds. Outside of that, it's just kind of theory and just already knowing a little bit more of the loops and the things that go into it. So how do we uh, compensate for that two to four hours uh, that we're doing? Because, you know, uh, you guys might be following me on Facebook and you see that, you know, we do well locals. We're consistently topping our 18 to 30 man locals. How do we do it without constant playtesting? So here's the thing, though. A lot of once, once you've got it drilled into your head, you know, you can regurgitate. Um, it's not necessarily a good thing, but I think it's something that you should know. Now, let's take Zoo for example. You know, I've been playing Zoo since its release, actually. Um, and I'm not going to say that I'm not uneducated with the deck, but I know a little bit more than the person that pick, would be picking it up today. You know, and just, once again, knowing the general ins and outs, knowing what loops to make when, make your question plays now, you know, hold things, you know, you guys might have watched my horrible audio quality video uh, yesterday with SEMO in it, you know, you got the chance to see a little bit more inside my mind if you could bear through the audio quality, I apologize for that, it wasn't my fault, it's my computer's fault, it's also like 3 a.m. when we filmed that, so we were just trying to get through everything, but, you know, much like these things and much like my previous background, you know, I'm a stun player. I I still say that, even after all of this time. We, you know, like, the constant adapting that you have to redo into, you know, this game. You know, and I'll still tell that to players. You know, the roughest thing that you do is when you take a break and you come back and you need to get reacquainted to this game. It's so very fucking hard to do. You know, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a game that will massively punish you if you are out for too long. You know... And we're getting into a point now where new players might actually have an opportunity to come into the game. You know, look at link format. It's right around the corner. You know, players are going to get the chance to relearn a new game. They're going to actually, the game's going to be slowed down a lot more than players are used to. You know, getting in a game pass turned five is, that's going to be breathtaking to a lot of these people. So... You know, a lot of the current blood is calming down. That's fine. You know, the game's getting to that point, you know. Like I've said in countless other videos, you know, we're coming out of a Tier 0 format into new game mechanics. So, 
I expect these things. So, back to the topic at hand here. Only play test two to four hours a week. You know, sometimes people won't even be able to sit down for that. You know, it's, it's really hard to justify, you know, the ends and the means here. And that's something that I, I can't help you really hammer time out of your day if you've got a super busy schedule. It's one of the more sad things. You know, that's something that you need to do. It depends how much you love the game, how serious you want to be about these things. You know, if two to four hours is all you honestly can do, or if you can do the whole Patty Hoban thing, and you can chug 120 hours of playtesting and still somehow magically make money at a job, oh my god, fucking you do you, boo-boo. All right, you know, there are people that work... You guys think that these local card shop owners have it easy? Some of these people work in 90 hours a week, making less than you do, working a full-time job. And it's really sad, but these are the people that are doing what they love. And I think it's important that you understand that if you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh, you need to make sure that that's what you love doing, because it's going to get to get very repetitive very quickly. You know, I've sat down, I've been playtesting 30 minutes in, I just want to stop because it's so repetitive. You know, Zoo is unfortunately a very repetitive deck, but sometimes you just, you gotta suck it up and you just gotta test draw some hands. You gotta be like, all right, Zoo, 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 Zoo. You know, it's, it's all part of the job. You know, you, you get yourself into what you're uh, playing, you know, you make your own bed. It's one of the unfortunate things about this game. So, I, I want to pose the question, though. You know, how much time do you playtest? How, how do you make time in your day for such activities as engaging in the sexual deviancies of smashing cardboard against cardboard? You know, inflicting the ungirly task of 8,000 life points to your attempted goal of being at zero. Yeah, you want your opponent to be a zero. You want to be at 8,000. You want as many perfect games as you can get because you're a bitch-ass baller. Oh. All right, so that's enough talking about playtesting. Let's get into a more controversial topic that has nothing to do with Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's talk about these old people that are out on the roads driving. And now, when we make these car videos, um, we've been sitting here, you know, chilling here in the parking lot. We just got some of our favorite food here. And I want to talk about, I've almost already died two times today. Now, I live in a little bit more of a small town here. And to be completely honest with you guys, I don't mind old people driving. But, god damn, some of these old people, like, you guys know why I like to sleep during the day? Because if I go out and get food at 11 o'clock like a normal person, I at least have a 50% chance of dying to an old person. You know, like, I'm not sitting here trying to text and drive. You know, I at least have my full concentration on the road. But I'm worried for my safety some days, living in a community that has a higher percentile of old people. Because bada bing, bada boom, out of nowhere, a senior citizen might not have their blinker on. And I, I'll, I'll be dead. <laughs> Hello, I am dead. How are you? You know, there's a very high risk of that happening. And it's actually ridiculous. You know, at least with winter, I don't have to worry about dying. You know, the roads take care of that for me. But summertime rolls around, you know, I like, I like to do what the, these nice senior citizens are doing. I like to get my food fresh. You know, they're getting brunch over here, and I'm just like, ooh, brunch sounds fantastic, you know. Been up all night, I want some food before we die at noon. You know, but I, I'm scared for my life, all right? You know, we don't really talk about real things on here, but, you know, that senior citizen driver might kill me. Don't go taking away their licenses, but, you know, South Park made the reference years ago and I didn't actually realize it until much later in my life. Be careful when you're driving through rural towns that old people might want to live in. Now if you're driving between 10 and the hours of 11.30, you might be dead. <laughs> it's, it's just so weird. I'm not taking anything away from these old people, but please, don't doze off behind the wheel. 
I've seen some of you guys driving and I'm scared for my life some days. You know, if playtesting two to four hours a day makes me into an old crazy person, I'll accept that game state, but... Just... It's like scared that an old person was going to come over here and hit me driving their car. And I'm in the middle of a parking lot where there's nothing fucking here. Look at this. See? There's one car here and like nothing in between us. That's the risk we take to film these videos. The old people might kill us. I don't want to die. I need to shave. I look like shit. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Card Fight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.